It is nice to know that if I ever shot myself in the face with these safety glasses on, I'd be totally fine. Just kidding. Of course I wouldn't be. And I, of course I would never do that. But I would talk about polycarbonate. Hi, my name is Tristan, and today we're going to be talking about polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is a resin-based thermoplastic. So what is a thermoplastic? Well, thermoplastics is just a general term for plastics that when heated, they melt and can be molded and then get cold and get hard. And that's exactly what polycarbonate is, as well as many other plastics. Polycarbonate is known for being extremely strong. That is why it is used for safety goggles and safety glasses. It is also used for bulletproof materials. So it's layered in between glass panels to be bulletproof. It's also used for various outdoor sheeting materials because it is very clear. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you might be familiar with the term acrylic as well. Acrylic, acrylic is another type of plastic, um, but polycarbonate and acrylic are different in some metrics. So both products are used in a sheet format much of the time in big clear sheets, but that's where the similarities kind of end. Um, so polycarbonate is a lot stronger than acrylic. Both are way stronger than glass, but polycarbonate is roughly 250 times stronger than glass, where acrylic is between 15 and 30 times stronger than glass. Polycarbonate also has a wider operating temperature between negative 20 degrees Celsius and 140 degrees Celsius. Polycarbonate is mainly known for its very high strength ratio and good operating temperature. So it's used for things like bulletproof glass, but is also found in things like CDs, for example. As you may notice, when you have a CD, when you're actually bending it, a CD, for how thin it is, is actually quite strong. And that is because it is polycarbonate. Acrylic, on the other hand, is used for a little more aesthetic purposes. It is shinier, it tends to be a tiny bit clearer, and although it doesn't have the same pure strength as polycarbonate, it is actually better when you're talking about things like UV protection, which people are gonna come in contact much more often than a bullet coming their way. Another thing to note with polycarbonate is that BPA is a building block of this plastic, so you might be familiar with all the cancer-causing articles and stuff, water bottles, used to have BPA in them. So polycarbonate is one of the plastics with BPA. So depending on what you believe about BPA, um, it generally is not considered to be a food safe plastic. That being said, there's still a lot of foodware produced with polycarbonate, such as baby bottles, water bottles, and different dishes that uh, advertise being indestructible. Um, so just note that if you do not want BPA in your product, uh, in your food product, you might wanna stay away from polycarbonate containers. In terms of manufacturing, working with polycarbonate is quite easy and it can be thermoformed or injection molded. In terms of recyclability, however, the story gets a little bit complicated. Because polycarbonate is a clear plastic um, and generally it's going to be pretty clean, polycarbonate is extremely recyclable. It's pretty much 100% recyclable. However, is it recycled often? The answer is no. The reason why is because polycarbonate is a number seven plastic. So in all the categories, um, one through seven, uh, seven is the only category that is basically other, and it has a lot of different plastics bunched into one group. So the ability to sort polycarbonate from acrylic and different types of plastic is quite difficult in this group, and most of these plastics never reach a point in their lifetime where they actually can be recycled. And another reason for that is because a plastic like polycarbonate is not gonna be produced in the same quantity as other plastics, like PET or a polypropylene. So because it is in this section, there's just such a low quantity, not a lot of it gets to be recycled. 